You guys, that was crazy. <laughs> Had a good hike in, some swimming, watched the game, the sun's one, and now we're headed home. So we left the restaurant and we were like, sweet, quick, one hour, one hour, 15 minute drive home, whatever. We put it in our Google map and it says three hours and 30 minutes. It says it's gonna take us three hours just to get back home. It only took us an hour to get up here. There's a huge accident on the way. Sad. Sad I'm for sure gonna have to pull over and pee in the bushes. <laughs> some point <laughs> we couldn't even like comprehend why it would take that long to get back i mean we saw that there was a crash but we were just like there's no way it could take this long I mean, maybe like two hours we max. thought it was a crash but then we got on the interstate and we were immediately stopped and then we just saw like it from like the far far out distance like maybe five miles away it's like windy through the mountains we just saw Tons of smoke. There's just this giant smoke up here, and the route now says four and a half hours to get home, so that's cool. Like mm -hmm. tons of smoke, and we were like, oh my gosh, a semi or like a huge car pileup must have like ran into the mountain and it all caught on fire. Mm -hmm. And we were like, feeling super scared for the people that were up there and it like had just happened right when we got on the interstate and so we kept going just inch by inch and then the time kept going up i think the highest point was like four hours and like 40 minutes yeah we were supposed to be on the road for almost five hours yeah and we had already been on the road for like an hour five and hours to go like 50 miles, 50, 60 yeah. miles. So we were just trying to like figure it out and we didn't, <laughs> we did some research on our phones and found out that it was a brush fire. And so it was just a fire on the side of the road and they weren't letting anybody through and they were detouring people to go like a hundred miles out of the way. Yeah, 100 miles out of the way. And then when we figured out that it was a fire, like a forest fire, brush fire, like, I kind of got nervous because I was like, well, what if it just keeps going this way and we're stuck in our cars? Like, we can't mm -hmm. turn around. There's cars behind us, miles behind us, miles yeah. in front of us. Like, we're just stuck here if this yeah. fire keeps going. What are you doing? You just shut this. <laughs> <laughs> we also have the towels in the window to block the sun. It's hot. There is a giant fire up there. It's been one two hours how long have we been in the car too long too long, <laughs> too long. Uh, and, guys? and our arrival time is 8 8 30 and it's 4 40. we were supposed to get home at four <laughs> it's very upsetting this is the fastest we've okay, driven no, in, in oh jordan switching oh. lanes so you're that guy oh so you're oh, that guy. Huh. oh. We're, about we're about to lose ground to win ground though oh yeah long game this, it, this is the fastest we've driven in the past like hour. That's true. Oh, hey oh, 10, 10 miles an hour. hour. It took us like two hours to go three miles down the highway. It was crazy. And then right when we were about to turn, so we could see the fire at this point. Like we could see the smoke. We were like, okay, we think it's clearing. Like we might be able to go straight, but we're not gonna keep our hopes up. And then, Right when we were about to turn left to get on the 188, we were on the 87, and the, we just take the 87 all the way home. And then, right when we were about to turn off the freeway, they were like, it was shut, so they were turning people onto a different freeway, which would be a hundred miles out of the way to get home. Right when we got up to the left turn to get on the other freeway, they opened it. They started letting people go through, and we were one of the first cars. We were one of. It was like maybe able. five cars in front of us like we mm -hmm. were the first cars to get through are we going back to fire that trailer just turned around dude yes yeah. yes they're moving yeah. they're moving yeah. we did it yes yeah. we did it yeah. oh my gosh i can we're see like, yeah. we're the first one we are like the first one they're like you just saved lives guys 
guys and we're like, we get home from there. Like, Wait. Look at these cars, are all turning around. This is amazing. This is amazing. What's he going to say? What's he going to say? Uh, we got two, uh, What if I get pulled over for having my phone out? <laughs> Jacob, buckle up! Oh, I'm buckled. Come on! It's like you guys are literally Come in a fire. Right they didn't get to see the fire. In wow. the fire right there! Should I redo it? Should I redo it? Let me try, let me try. So we thought it was a crash. Turns out it was a forest fire. But it's really fresh gone fire, now. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Jeez, guys. We don't have trees. I know. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's move still your, going. Move your towel. Whoa. There's a lot of people up there fighting it. Oh my gosh, thank you firefighters. There's so many people up there. There's so many people. Yeah, look at all those little dudes up there. There's so wow. many. Thank you firefighters. What? Oh, you can smell it. What? It smells like campfire. That's crazy. Thank you. You rock. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, Jesus smells. It does smell. What timing? Oh. Yeah, no, it's bad. Thank you guys. What the heck? Yeah, I covered a lot of area. It's I so can't quick, believe they're letting us through it. I know. Wow. Wow. That's what's your job, you know? I know. When you make it out of the forest fire. <laughs> so then once we were finally through, it took us like less than an hour to get home. Yeah. We're just so thankful that, but it was that we were crazy. able to make it. There was like, like there was still firefighters out fighting this fire. Like mm -hmm. we were driving past it while they were still putting it out. It was crazy. Yeah. So thank you so much firefighters. Now we're home and we're about to go shower and just relax the rest of the day. We're exhausted. Home two hours later than we should have been. But at this point, we got home two hours earlier than we would have if we had to go turn left on 188. So we're super grateful, also super grateful that nobody was hurt, that the fire didn't catch up to us, and that we were able to get home and all the firefighters were safe. Thank you so much again, firefighters. We made it, we're going to shower now. Whew. Goodbye. Well, see you guys later.